Welcome back to the show, everyone. It's not often that you get to meet a world champion, and uh, especially one that has achieved a level of fame in his uh, chosen competition uh, to sort of hang out and, and just talk. And we're going to learn how to dance in a minute. I'm a little of scared course, about that. Of course, you know Louis Van Amstel from Dancing with the Stars, and he is in Vancouver, and you can learn to dance with him with his yes. Lab Last Fitness. How are you? Hi, I'm good. You? Thank you for having me on your show. So tell us what brings you to Vancouver. What are you doing here? Uh, quite a few reasons actually, but number one reason is Le Blast that, um, that I'm going to roll out at the Steve Nash Clubs here, exclusively in Vancouver. And then tomorrow night, a big event at the River Rock Casino where uh, hopefully 650 people are going to show up. We're going to be dancing. <laughs> and dancing with out. you. Yes, and promoting the, the fitness DVDs that came out. Uh, a month ago. How much uh, fun has this whole experience for you been? I mean, I, I guess encapsulating your entire career. I mean, from being a competitive dancer on the world championship level to, to now uh, dancing with the stars, to, to be able to watch people really get a good understanding for this art form. It's amazing. The, the, how, the celebrities on Dancing with the Stars, sometimes it changes their lives. Yeah. But it has changed our lives. The opportunities that we as pro dancers have have been given, it is unbelievable. If, and if you asked me five years ago, Whether you are doing... going into the fitness world, <laughs> you I no would idea. say you must be kidding me. Well, let's me. talk about everybody's favorite transformation on Dancing with the Stars. When I watched Kelly Osbourne with you, and she transformed into, you know, it was so fascinating watching her not just lose the weight, but you, you saw her come out of her shell yeah. and really gain confidence. confidence what yes. was it like for you to see that transformation in Kelly? Because she's kept the weight off, and she has just blossomed as a person. It's amazing to see someone change so fast in front of millions of people. Halfway through, when I saw her become more confident and make, being part of every single element, I designed all the dresses at first. By the end, she was designing them all. She was so part of everything, even in the choreography. And when I saw that she realized that she now was an inspiration to other people, that was to me the most humbling experience. Wow. How much does that uh, transfer over to the concept of Le Blast? Is not just the, the physical, the losing weight and everything, but that confidence that you see in people when they learn how to control their body and do things that they never thought they were it's capable beautiful. of. It's beautiful, and that to me, I realized Le Blast is not just a dance class or a dance fitness program, mm -hmm. it's a lifestyle. It really changes every part of you. It makes you more confident, it works on your self-esteem, physically you get in the best shape of your life, and you have fun along the way. Because that's a lot of times, people hate going to the gym, yeah. or they hate the journey, they just want those pounds off. Well, standing on a Stairmaster well, is not, not a good right. time, <laughs> and it's not fun. But no. maybe you can tell people, because we've got all the DVDs here, yes. what people find on the DVDs, yes. the different levels, and I guess anybody can start doing this. Anyone can do it. So pretty much the five DVDs is like the journey that Kelly and I went through from the beginning. She couldn't dance. She was a klutz, clumsy, two left feet, couldn't do it. That's and me right here, Blast of oh, This one. Oh, this no, one is the first one. Is the first one. Let's okay. dance is the first one. It's for anyone that thinks they can't we'll dance. Yes, shot, you shot, can. Shot. And then level two and level three is just more dances, more choreography. And then four and five is all 15 minutes short workouts for the upper body or just the midsection And then you can target er areas that yeah. you want to target. Yeah. Well, everybody thinks that they need to have a partner when it comes to dancing, but not with La Blast. And maybe no. you can explain that concept and yes. how it works. Ballroom dancing is normally done with a partner, same on Dance with the Stars. That's what I wanted to change because oftentimes boyfriends or husbands don't want to dance, but the, the ladies want to dance. Yeah. Now anyone can dance. And the funny thing is many people that are doing it in their living rooms, the men get curious. Of course, yeah. And they're actually like, hey, can joining I do that? in. Well, but Louis, <laughs> this is part of, of, of what shows like So You Think You Can Dance have done. And, uh, and of course, um, Dancing with the Stars is, is it's, it's given people the idea of of this being such a beautiful and such a passionate thing. Guys want to know this now. I mean, oh, they're curious. You know, I want to be able to take a girl out on a dance floor and woo her on the <laughs> dance floor. And one of the testimonies I'm getting, it's a little, uh, I don't know if people under 21 are watching, but um, women that come up that their sex lives 
have improved. Because well, they all say these if you can dances. do it on the dance floor. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, <laughs> hey, it's a all vertical expression of a horizontal desire. So how desire. does it work? We've got Steve Nash gyms, of course, everywhere yes. here in the lower mainland. How does it work for the classes? Of course, you're here to do one on Wednesday night. That's yes. a one-time thing. But how does it work after that? Well, one of the reasons I'm here, too, I'm doing the teacher's training with 21 uh, instructors from Steve Nash Clubs and uh, in March they're gonna roll out and that's the fun part because Dancing with the Stars starts Monday uh, March 19th yeah. and they're gonna roll out people are inspired so people can now learn the dances and then watch TV and then see oh I know that and um, hopefully I'm on this season, but I don't know yet. You when find will we out? find out? You've got to tell us, because I want to see you back again. Well, I'll find out if I'm on or not today, today. or tomorrow. And but really? The public will find out. My will be. February 28th. <laughs> what is it like for you and all the rest of the pros when you are paired up with your partner? Yeah. How does that process of the show work for you? It's as scary for the celebrities as for us, because first, the pros find out only a week before the start, yeah. if we're on the show. Too, okay. really? And then we have to just go into the room, have a microphone on us and a camera on us, and, and we just have to wait until the door opens. What did you think? Okay. We're looking at Kendra right now, and she was so much fun on the show. What was it like when you saw that you were oh, paired up with her? Um, I was very honest with her. I, um, I. Do <laughs> <laughs> you can say it because I remember. <laughs> I said it to her. I when I knew I had a Playboy bunny, I wasn't very. I was not impressed. I thought, oh, that's so external, so superficial. Yeah. And I'm all about the journey and the spirituality. And after 10 seconds of meeting her, I thought, you just, I, you're not a, you're not a Playboy bunny. Yeah. And by far she's not. She was very tomboyish and. Uh, oh, totally. Uh, but, yeah. She'd rather play football, <laughs> yeah, <she> was, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Uh, but she you, also transformed somehow a little. I mean. Yeah. How interesting for you, and and how much you must have learned through doing this and working with people that have never danced before, to really have to go, okay. You know, I'm a world champion. I know every aspect of this art form now, but I really have to start from the basics again. Yeah. Is that a good learning experience for you, or is that frustrating? I love the show. I love doing the show. I love the role that I have as a pro. And yes, it was a, a learning curve because I coached Max, Karina, Tony, all these dancers, uh, Cheryl, I coached all of them. So it is about the best in the world, pushing them to yeah. their limits. And then you have a celebrity that can't stand up straight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a journey, but, but that's what is so much fun about doing the show. And it's what makes this work as well, is because now yes. you, you have that idea, right, mm -hmm. of, of where people need to begin yeah. and where they can possibly get to, because yeah. people believe that now, right? Yeah. You can start knowing nothing, and you can get to the last blast of move. Get the mirror ball. Before mm -hmm. I even uh, talked about it, on the radar, that was three years in. I wanted to test it out with so many different people. I have housewives that come to my class four days a week, and they've been there for four years. They started in level one, two left feet, and they're doing <laughs> level those. five. Okay, what is the hardest dance uh, to do as far as Dancing with the Stars? Mm. What is the most difficult? The slower dances are really the kiss of death. Is like that the because rumba. they're watching like every single move? It's slow, so it's revealing emotionally. Yeah. And then you see every, if it's fast, you can kind of cover up. You're, you shake things <laughs> off and like, I'm yeah, nervous. Right. Distract. Yeah. But when it's Look slow, up here and then down yeah. here. <laughs> but when it's slow, it's like, can we get this over with? Can we get this? <laughs> you see everything. So rumba is, and the samba, because it's that bounce, you have to constantly yeah. bounce. Yeah. And oftentimes, the show gives you music that really is great song, but not for that particular yeah. dance, and you just have to deal with you it. You know, you've mentioned emotion a, a few times, and, and when we were watching sort of the DVDs and stuff as well, you managed to infuse them with that sense of joy and fun and experimentation and expression mm. uh, that I think is part of the attraction of, of dancing and, yeah. and what people like Well, to for do. me, if you look at, and we're going spiritual right now, mm -hmm. if you look at, we are, we're in a very big recession and yeah. a lot of people obesity is a big problem and to me it's emotional eating so if we make people happier then people will not eat so much yeah. and they'll become more active because they feel good and that's what I kind of wanted with LeBlast. And that was the original idea. I want to fight obesity and together we Get it into school well, too, yeah. man. Start we're, working, we're working on it but yeah, step man. by step. Everything because now 
you know, you're like in a big ocean swimming with a lot of sharks. Yeah. So everything, <laughs> you know. A little bit at a time? A little bit at a time. I think you're well, you can well do it at home with the DVDs. So you can pick them up anywhere. And if you're in Vancouver on Wednesday night, that's February 22nd, Louis is going to be doing the one and only La Blast class here in Vancouver at the River Rock. To register, just go to the Steve Nash website. It's on the screen, snclubs.com, and find out more info. And you can meet and dance with uh, How many Louis in person. 650? That's you, the capacity. That so. would oh, be it's a gonna blast. be packed. Okay, um, Love it. literally, he's yeah. gonna teach us to dance right after this, and I'm afraid, because I have two left feet. Don't go away. Just watch. You may fall in love. Oh, God.